In this video, we are going to look at how you can use Zeus on the loose to help your kids with number bonds of 10 as well as single digit addition to 100. It's a chance for the kids to dish out a good measure of take that to their parents by grabbing the Zeus figurine from us legitimately. So let's find out how this game plays. I'm Leanne and I've taught kids for almost 20 years. I help parents have fun while teaching the kids the skills that they need. So if this is something you're interested in, consider subscribing. We'll be explaining how to pare down this game to its basics and then leveling it up step by step so that the kids can fully master the math. Now Zeus on the Loose is a quick game for families to play to give their kids opportunity to practice number bonds and single digit addition to larger numbers up to 100. It's a great way to show the kids how using math can be fun. In the box are 56 cards, 4 of each number from 1 to 10, 16 special cards, 3 Poseidon that let you subtract 10 points from Mount Zeus, and then 2 of each, Aphrodite, Apollo, Ares, Artemis, Athena and Hermes, which give you a range of effects like stealing Zeus, rounding up, reversing the digits, skipping the next player and advancing Mount Olympus to 99. And you also get the star of the game, one Zeus figurine. The object of the game is to win the Zeus figure as many times over the course of a round that Mount Olympus climbs to 100. After shuffling the cards and dealing four to each player, players play a card from their hand into a discard pile which adds to the previous Mount Olympus total. Each time Mount Olympus reaches a multiple of 10, you get to grab the Zeus figure. You also get to grab Zeus from an opponent if you play a Greek god card that gives you that ability, or you manage to match an identical number card on top of Mount Olympus out of your turn. Here are a few reasons why we like this game so much. In this game, there's plenty of opportunity for them to play that take that element. All the kids who I've played with love this aspect of the game, especially when they can take that figurine from the adults. And that's the beauty of board gaming. It's the one avenue that I tell the kids, you're very welcome to compete with me at your highest level and give me your best moves to win the game. And because they like that game so much, it totally works to encourage kids to work on their number bonds and keep adding up to Mount Olympus. The game lends itself to lots of addition, but there are only a few opportunities for subtraction, namely when we use the Poseidon card to subtract 10. So I'm going to explain how we introduce the game to young children and use it explicitly to teach and encourage them to learn their number bonds and mental addition in order to play the full game well. My guiding principle is to introduce one element at a time so kids have time to familiarize themselves. At the start, I just want to show them the number cards and the end goal, the Zeus figurine, and then let them know that we will use the abacus to keep track of Mount Olympus. I let them know we're going to play a game to grab Zeus, but you can only grab him when you make multiples of 10. So that's where they want to make number bonds. I also point out where the multiples of 10 would be on the abacus, and that's where we start. Each time we play a number card, we add it to the abacus. And obviously, they are going to try to figure out the number bonds to make 10 so that they win Zeus. After they are familiar with this gameplay, I add in the Apollo and Athena cards into the mix. These are simple special actions, stealing Zeus from an opponent or skipping the next player. And those they would be familiar with with other games that they have played. Then I start introducing the rest of the cards in order of increasing complexity. The next card I introduce is Ares, whose special ability is just for Olympus to be changed to 50. After that, I start the rest of the cards, which allow the kids to manipulate the numbers, reversing the digits, subtracting, and then lastly, rounding to the nearest multiple of 10 in that order. This next step is going to be quite a jump, so pay attention. Now that they're completely familiar with the gameplay and that we've introduced all the cards, it's time to ask of the kids the mental addition and the memory without relying on the abacus to keep track of Mount Olympus. This is going to give them the practice of single digit addition 
two larger numbers. You can start with having them work out the addition sums each time a number is added. This is good if you feel they need all their working memory to focus on the addition alone. And then lastly, to do it completely as mental math, remembering where Mount Olympus was, adding on the single digit plate, and using mental math addition and regrouping strategies for trading to find that final sum. Now, Game Right has targeted this for kids ages eight and up, but I think kids much younger are well capable of playing this game if they have some manipulative help like the abacus. I feel like waiting till kids are eight is maybe too late. We modified so that it kept the depth conceptually, but not the complexity of the thought process. If you want to learn other addition games that will help your kids enjoy math, make sure to check out the video on Melbourne's in the links below or at the end of this video. Or check out other videos listed in the description box on using games to teach kids and I can't wait to see you in a future one. Yay!